sisters and brothers, I look forward to the time when after the Mass, I can say the Mass is ended. Let's go in peace. But having said that, you know, I'm just happy to see you. It's been three years. Any one of us could have died. We pray in this Mass for our loved ones who have gone ahead. We know they are with God. And let's be grateful for the gift of life. You and I are still alive. You and I have still have a mission in this life. And thank you for your love and sacrifice coming here today to join me in thanking God. Before anything else, I don't know what you're going through, but hey, your greatest blessing is the fact that you are still alive. So, pwede ba? Could you please greet the person beside you and just tell the person beside you, I'm happy you are here. I'm happy we're still alive. Happy we're together. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen, Lord. Amen. And today, again, I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you're going through, but you have many blessings. Pray to God for that healing, Lord, that I may focus more on my blessings not on what is missing. Today, may I invite you now, tell the Lord, Lord, I am so blessed. Lord, mapalad po ako. Ah, parang kulang ng conviction. Say it mo louder na. Lord, mapalad po ako. Please say that with a smile. Lord, mapalad po ako. Lord, mapalad po Yes, you are. Sabihin mo nga sa katabi mo, parang hindi siya convinced. Hoy, malapad. Ay, mapalad ka. If you want healing, you have to learn to be joyful. That is my experience with cancer. 2018, I had cancer. I could not understand why. But then, I stopped asking why. Because if you keep asking why, that's not productive. You're not moving. You keep questioning. Instead, I say, Lord, I trust in you. I don't understand, but I trust in you like a child. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Those who are sick, those who are going to any depressions, pain, whatever it is, deprivations, I trust in you. Then half of your problem is already solved. Sisters and brothers, fear is useless. What is needed is trust. Maybe why you are sick, why you're going to problems, etc. Maybe the Lord is asking you to trust Him more, to worry less, and to trust Him more. We pray for this grace in this Mass. Joyful trust in the Lord. Excuse me, Paul. Look at the face of the person beside you. Anong atmosphere ng face niya, yung mukha niya? Joyful ba o sorrowful? Glorious or luminous? Baka ikaw ang kill joy. 
Please don't kill the joy of the Lord. Be a joy giver, not a joy killer. If only we could stick to these things. And you know when battle cry, when I had cancer, focus on the humor, not on the tumor. Why are you not happy? You're always focusing on the tumor of your life, tumor of other people, tumor of the country, tumor of the church. You have become a mega star. It's your choice. Choose to be happy. The Lord needs more people who are happy. Christianity, after all, is good news. Evangelii Gaujum, the joy of the gospel. Dear brothers and sisters, life is short. Choose to be happy. Choose to be good. You know, people tell us, I'm not happy, Father, because the people here are like this, the situation is like this. Wrong. Wrong definition of happiness. Happiness does not, should not, depend on things or people or situation outside you. It's a choice you make. Because if that is your definition, you will never be happy. At kung namatay kang malungkot, di malungkot kang namatay. And you blame others? No. Choose to be happy. Rise above the negativities. For example, when I had cancer, my God, chemotherapy, I lost 50 pounds. Was I miserable? No. I said, yay, finally pumayat na ako, yay. Mindset. Your mindset is what I ask you today. To open your mindset to the mindset of the Holy Spirit. Then you can go through anything and still be joyful and happy and loving. Please pray for that. Special prayer today. Lord, change my heart, O God. Come, Holy Spirit. You know the most important password? CHS.com Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Please bow your head now. Whatever you're going through right now, especially in your mind, are you filled with pain, with sorrow, with worry? Are you filled with anger, sadness? Just tell the Lord now, come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Change my heart, O God. Change my mind that I'll be more simple, more joyful, more obedient, more trusting and more humble. There are a lot of things we cannot change anymore. There are a lot of people in our life, we cannot change them anymore. But you can change. So pray for that. And just follow the Lord. And one of the most important things we ask the Lord today is humility. Excuse me po. Marami po sa atin mayabang tayo sa Diyos. We don't listen. We don't pray. We think we have it all. With my resources, with my connections. Wow. I don't need God. Wow. 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 Today, if you hear His voice, harden not your heart. Lord, I need you. Please bow your head in humility again. Lord, all that I am, all that I have is from you. My achievements, so-called achievements in this life, are nothing compared to the blessings you have given to me. 
wala po akong pwedeng ipagyabang. So Lord, today, I ask you to embrace me again, bless me again, and remind me again that without you, I am nothing. And that with you, I have everything. Pasensya na po, ginoo, madalas mayabang kami. Excuse me po, mawalang galang uli ah. Medyo pinahan mo nga ng tingin uli yung katabi mo. Yung bang katabi mo, may kilay pa ba yan? Excuse me po ha. Wala hong personalan. Alam po nyo, we become so serious about ourselves, who we are, what we have. That makes us proud. Mga kapatid, hindi bali ng walang kilay, wag lang mataas ang kilay. Amen? Amen. Yeah. Amen. And my brothers and sisters, you know, do you have any relationship problem right now? This happens. Family quarrels, friendships that have gone sour, anything. The key to that problem is humility. Be humble, stay humble, magpakumbaba ka na. And you're humble, doors open, and... Darkness is gone, hearts soften, and life flows on. If there's no humility, dead luck. Hanggang sa libingan na yan. So, today, I'd like you to pray with me three prayers for healing. The first prayer that liberates us is to say, Lord, thank you for everything. Sisters and brothers, thank God for everything that has happened, that has happened, that is happening in your life. If you can say thank you, you're free. Everything includes even the sad, the painful things that have happened in your life. Masakit. You cannot accept it. It's painful. But once you say, Lord, I don't understand, but I thank you. You are free. You have been taken out of your prison. But if you keep questioning, keep complaining, you'll not move on. So today, again, thank you, Lord, for everything. Including the good and the bad, the happy and the sad moments of my life. Second prayer, Lord, Take care of everyone. Stop worrying about your loved ones. Trust that the Lord will take care of them. God loves your loved ones more than you can love them. And don't forget, they belong to God more than they belong to you. You belong to God more than you belong to them. So the Lord will take care of everything, of everyone. And may I add, everyone. Aha. Uh-huh. That includes even the people whom you do not like. I'd like you now to think of people that hurt you. You pray for that person. Because if you cannot love that person, at least you pray for that person. Oh God, mahirap ipagdasal mo na taong ganito. But 
Bahala ka na sa kanila, Lord. Okay? Bahala ka na, Lord. At kung sinabi mong, Lord, bahala ka na, huwag mong dagdaga na suggestion. Sige, kung gusto mong ma-stroke na siya, ma-bankrupt na sila, bahala na si Lord, okay? Huwag ka nang magbigay ng suggestion. That's it. Okay, I can pray for that person. Bahala ka na po. And number three, Lord, thy will be done. My life is in your hands. What is it that is bothering you right now? Thy will be done, Lord. There are many things we wish, but these things don't happen. We don't understand. So, again, thy will be done. And my life is in your hands. You go through surgery, anesthesia, you don't know if you still wake up. So what do you do, Lord? My life is in your hands. In the doctor's hands and in your hands. You have to learn to surrender. Otherwise, you don't have a peaceful life. This is the healing that we ask the Lord today. Lord, my life is in your hands. Problema ng iba, Lord, well, my life is in my money, my connections, my popularity, etc., etc. Wrong. Our lives are in God's hands. Amen. Amen. So that's my prayer for all of us. Healing. We are all a work in progress. Excuse me po. Uh, medyo pinahan mo nga din ang tingin yung katabi mo. Palagay mo kaya makakaakyat sa langit yan. Ano? Anong pakiramdam mo? Amen. Anong feel mo? Oo oh, naman, oo oh, naman. Ah, kapatid, bottom line, we're reminded again, our final destination is to go to heaven. That's it. And we believe that heaven is the completion of all we wish for. There are no more tears, no more pain, no more problems, no more issues. Alam niyo, sa heaven, wala mga matatapang, masusungit, mayayabang. Wala, wala sila doon. Wala doon mga basher, mga marites, kung ano na, wala sila. What is the Lord's reminder for all of us today? Stay good, no matter what, and go to heaven. Lahat naman tayo makasalanan, but God's love is greater. So dear friends, paalaala lang po. Our most important journey is our journey to God's heart. Magkakapatid tayo dito. Ang magkakapatid, wala namang iba, right? Wala namang iba. Pakitanong mo ngayon katabi mo, by the way, how old are you? Ah, wala ng kapatid, wala ng kapatid, kapatid dyan. Ah, tanungin mo na lang para subtle, nakailang Pasko ka na. Yeah. Look, we're growing older. Ang tanong ko lang po ito, are you coming closer to God? Are you closer now to God than you were three years, five years, ten years before? That's the journey we should not forget. Many of you here, financial journey, career journey, wow, you've come a long way, baby. Congratulations. Ang layo na nang narating mo, pero baka ang layo mo pa sa puso ng Diyos. Ang taas na nang lipad mo, high altitude, but you still have many bad attitudes. Sisters and brothers, bottom line, what does it profit you and me? We gain the whole world, but we lose our soul. 
we lose our peace of mind, we lose our character, we lose our relationships. This is the healing we ask from the Lord today, personal healing. We also ask for healing of our country, our people, and this whole world. And I would just like to ask those who are sick. I was healed with the prayers of so many, particularly one saint, Saint Ezekiel Moreno, a Recoletos priest, missionary, who was 15 years in the Philippines. He was in Mindoro, Batangas, and Palawan. He had cancer. He died of cancer. He spoke Tagalog. He was very kind and, they said, shy and humble. But he loved the poor and the sick. He ministered to them. Why significant? I didn't know him. I mean, when somebody gave me a statue of St. Ezekiel, patron of cancer patients, Okay, I would be praying, and one day I look at his statue. The statue is in Christ the King Seminary Mission House. I saw beads of perspiration, powis, and teardrop on the right eye. Oh my God, I said, what's this? The manifest. Mawawala, the next day, naman. All throughout the four months of chemotherapy, perspiration, teardrop. I knew a saint was praying for me. That gave me courage. After my last chemotherapy, no more perspiration, no more teardrop. Sabi ko, Saint Ezekiel, nagtampo na ho yata kayo sa akin, Nag nagluod ka na sa akin. And he was telling me, Father Jerry, you are healed, you are help heal other people especially those who go through cancer. So please have a devotion to Him. Of course, the risen Lord is the greatest healer. And I brought the relic. The Recoletos gave me a bone relic of the saint. And where I go, the ceiling, you may have a chance after the Mass just to pray. Saint is secure. Filipino po siya eh. He died only in 1906, so... That's one intercession he will make for all of us. He says, and brothers, but don't forget, God loves you. Mahal ka ng Diyos. Maging sino ka man. Kahit ikaw ay bad boy, maging puso mo'y sinungaling paminsan-minsan habang may buhay. Ikaw lamang ngayon at kailanman. Ikaw naman di na natuto. Ikaw pa, e love kita. Pangako sa iyo. Meet your garden. Lovers in Paris. On the wings of love forevermore. Provinciano. <laughs> the joy of the Lord is our strength. So, before we end, may, let's make a promise. You know, I, I was four years in South Korea as a SBD missionary. And yung say, oh, saranghe, kamsamida. And the Koreans, when they promise something, yaksuk tojang. Promise seal. Okay? And now, please do this to one another. I'd like you now to promise to each other, see you in heaven. Promise. Let's do that now. Could you make that promise now to each other? This, yan. Ganon. Okay? See you in heaven. Not so soon. Yes, not so soon. <laughs> Mayroon pa tayong mission. Amen. Amen. And don't forget, it's Mama Mary who tells us again and again what I've been telling you. Humility, trust, joy, obedience, kindness, kindness. 
Please be kind. Stop hurting people. Be kind. And you get to have that peace which the world cannot give nor take away. Please bow your heads in prayer. May I now ask you to put your right hand over your heart. And in this moment of quiet, let the Lord bless you. Let Mama Mary embrace you. And ask the Lord now to bless all the people in your heart, especially those who need healing, conversion, those who need cleansing, purification. Again, you say to the Lord, Lord, thank you for everything. Lord, take care of everyone. And Lord, thy will be done. My life is in your hands. And in this moment of quiet, you tell the Lord, tell Mama Mary, your Thanksgiving special request, special intention. Yes. Believe, trust, surrender. Sisters and brothers, please never forget how loving God is and how important you are. Please don't forget, you are still alive, you still have a mission in this life. So before we go and offer our gifts to the Lord, please tell one another again, God bless you. Don't worry. Be happy. Tell that to one another. At pakisabi mo na rin sa katabi mo, Oh, may mission ka pa, magbago ka na. Magbago na ka. Amen.